This is the Lord's Care Ministry provided by James Bird. Welcome to March 15th, 2008, a Sabbath. I hope you all congregate today for the Sabbath. Well, brethren, we'll get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. A light shining from above. Day 75, 2008. Perfect through sufferings. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 10. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Matthew chapter 26, verses 38 to 39. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and he sweat was as if it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Luke chapter 22 and verse 44. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Psalms chapter 116 and verse 3. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness, and I look for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. Psalms 69 and verse 20. I looked on my right hand, and behold, there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. Psalms 142 and verse 4. He was displeased and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and of acquainted with grief and we hid as if our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 3. A believer's privilege, spiritual freedom through Christ. If the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. John Chapter 8 and verse 36. Sweet is the freedom Christ bestows, with which he makes his people free. A liberty no mortal knows till he till they see his great salvation. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Brethren, this happens to be a Sabbath. If you're staying at home and just out doing your thing, say, well, I will go to church tomorrow. The Bible doesn't say that. And if you really want to follow Christ, if you love him and keep his command and want to keep his commandments, get down on your knees and repent of this wrongdoing, of this sin, of breaking the Lord's commandments. And if you truly want to change, the Father and his Son will hear you. Well, brethren, with that, what we're going to do, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and beautiful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.